Hi everyone, we're here in our Ritzel match for Ritzel 2021A. Our opponent is uh, Coriel. Never played him before, but he has uh, a really good record in our division. I'm in the level 4 Carter division. This is the division essentially for newbies. Um, none of us, I believe, have played in a previous Ritzel uh, league, so we're going to say hello. of an interesting headline here. Uh, we really <laughs> are not set up wonderfully for any type of access. We have defectors, uh, but that's about the only good thing about our hand. We could... Um, I think we're going to headline Europe scoring unless we see some kind of a Marshall Plan set up. But we're going to open for 4 1. Try to play independent reds early so that that triggers without an effect. Uh, we don't have good ops, and we have all three of the scoring cards Asia, Europe, and Middle East. So it's going to be a pretty low-scoring early war, probably for both of us, because we're going to try to drop um, these cards as quickly as we can. I'm almost tempted here to use the China card to coup Iran. Oh, interesting. So he puts two in Iran. Uh, so that makes a coup, an air one coup of Italy, a little more attractive here. So we have to decide. We could get rid of a scoring card here in the headline, anything but Middle East. I think our best play here is to uh, play Europe scoring. So here we go. And we get purged on top of our terrible hand. Actually, I don't feel horrible about being purged. The silver lining of that is that we can, uh, you know, we already had two empty action rounds. And so we're he had to give up four ops, and we're probably only losing, oh goodness, maybe one. Uh, we're probably losing four as well, so that may end up being kind of a wash. Still, getting purged on the opening uh, round is never a good thing. I think what I'm going to try to do is... Um, I mean, there's no way I can realistically race him for Asia. So maybe just playing Asia now for one is the best play, except that it lets him move into the Middle East. We won't be going to space this turn. Um, I would say... We're really just depending on... Uh, this is just whole first turn is just going to be kind of a wash. Right, so what we could do is we could coup here, but our odds are well, under purge, just terribly, terribly bad. So I think just dropping Asia now is the way to go. Drop Asia for one. It's not going to get any better. And our opponent doesn't really have many coup targets. We could five-year plan away uh, the Middle East if we're not able to get enough influence. That's probably going to be a good likelihood. We'll look to play independent reds next round. Four of 
Romania. Okay, so obviously we don't have any uh, cards to play. I think we play here into Afghanistan. Probably gonna play Fidel for Ops in case we draw CIA in turn two. Also gonna play Korean War for it, so we're gonna play a lot of one ops cards. Really, all of these are one ops cards. Um, right until we get to five year plan. So I'm really only going to have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six usable ops for the entire first turn. Definitely not where we want to be. Oh, good. Here's a giant four op card for him. So even though we're going to headline, even though we get rid of five year plan, we still do need mill ops. I kind of don't mind getting into a coup war over Lebanon. It would be great if we could keep the DEFCON high into next round. Could try a, a coup here on Italy. Um, right, so I think next up is... Well, coup Lebanon, sure. Not a bad use of a two-ops card. He gets a point for defectors. We get some mill ops. If he wants to coo us back, that's perfectly fine. Really not a whole lot we can do this entire first turn, so. Uh, it's tough to see the first turn being uh, kind of a wash. At least CIA is out of the deck temporarily. Okay, we'll coo him back. That's fine. All right, now there's no presence in Lebanon. So the point there, and I'm not positive, I'm not certain that was the right play, but we can get mill ops, we can give him something to do. Right, so now, um, oh no, this is interesting. Well, even though it, it's terrible to give him Thailand, I think I'll be able to coup in with the China card next turn, and if we use the China card, we can't get rid of the scoring card with five-year plan. So I still think, uh, let's see, what could we do? We could play into South Korea in the hopes that, uh, our opponent will, you know, otherwise he might have seen, he saw us get rid of Korean War. So he might be th uh, willing to take that card. We'll just see what happens. We are going to have to coup with five-year plan, though. I think we may you know, plan to Lebanon. All right, so they play CNS. They had all the great uh, neutral cards. IP war, nuclear test ban, CNS. We're going to coup. Okay, so I think I like a coup on Thailand here. Even though he can coup back, um, well, let's think about that. If he coos back, the DEFCON will be at 4 again at, at AR1 of turn 2, so I like that play. And hey, rolling a 6 is not a bad thing. Okay, so we get rid of the scoring cards, we get in our mill ops. That was pretty much the luckiest roll we could expect, so... Not sure what our opponent has here, but... 
we've got enough. I'm expecting a counter coup. And Thailand is really the only shot. So let's hope he rolls low. Interesting. Okay, so he gives up Vietnam since we already have Thailand. Oh, and interesting, he coups with he coups Vietnam and not Thailand. Now that's interesting. Okay. So now where do things stand? Well, we get a lot a lot better. Uh, our cards are a lot better here. We get Marshall Plan. We get NATO. Formosa, Warsaw Pact, Arab Israeli War, EEU, De Gaulle, and Suez. Okay, so possible headlines. We headline De Gaulle, and then we coup a battleground country, probably maybe Iran or Pakistan or Italy. All right, so we have the possibility of a coup on Italy with NATO. Uh, that looks pretty great. We haven't seen Truman, so that's a bit of a problem. It's likely that he's got Truman Doctrine. We don't have... Um... So one option is we headline De Gaulle, but because DEFCON's at 5, we have no way he could realign us. So an AR-1 coup, probably on Pakistan since we've already seen the war, that makes the most sense. And so as a result, I think Arab-Israeli war is our headline. All right, the, oh, okay, we went with NORAD. Well, that's gonna be problematic. And we failed in the war. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna coup, coup Pakistan. Do we coup Pakistan with the China card? No, I think we hang on to that. Another six, wow. Okay. I'm expecting here our opponent's going to play into Laos, Cambodia. We could coup there. Okay, we have a duck and cover coup. All right. Oh, goodness, and he coups us out. Oh, that's the worst roll. That's the worst goal. All right, so what we're going to do here, I think I'm going to hold on to De Gaulle for um, next turn. Six, right, so we'll play all of our other cards. I think what I'm going to do is place... Now, let's see, we could coup, we could coup Egypt. That looks pretty, that looks pretty great. Assuming our luck continues, we only need, we've got, a, we need a three or better. Uh, and if we coup now, he won't fill up Canada. So I think that's going to be the play. Okay, our rolls were not quite as fantastic that time, but... Maybe good enough. We're going to want to use our remaining influence points. Looks like we've got eight of them if we space Marshall Plan. We're going to want to use these two. Okay, so we get the rest of Egypt. And our opponent plays into Laos. Okay, we're going to give up EU. I'm expecting we're going to be racing into Burma. There's a lot of action there in Southeast Asia. But we can finish taking India and threaten Burma 
with Suez. I think that's the play. So if we can grab Pakistan, India, and he takes Thailand and South Korea and Japan, we could be in a stalemate. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, so we get Romania. All right. We have not seen D-Style, which is really too bad. Um, right, so we, go to, we can play here to put ourselves on Mid-East Domination. Uh, but there's not a huge rush to do that. Or we could go like this. I don't love that. I want to hang on to the China card. I think that's going to be the play. I want to hang on to the China card because of CIA. We haven't seen that. So we could get that in the reshuffle. So I think that's the play. In our th next AR, we could either Space Marshal Plan or finish taking Afghanistan. Actually, not sure how important Afghanistan is. Well, there's adjacency. Okay, let's go there. We're expecting our opponent's going to start playing into the African battlegrounds, Al Angola and Zaire. Okay, so he sends socialist governments off to space, and it works. Yikes! So he's going to space. He has the potential of spacing twice. We'll space Marshal Plan. Okay, we get there. I should say from the very beginning that, oh my goodness, okay, so he spaces decal. Oh, gosh, he's tearing up the space race here. Okay, so what we do is we finish taking Afghanistan and we take Syria. That puts us temporarily at least on both Asian and Middle East domination, holding de Gaulle to hopefully uh, you know, make some progress here in France. So let's see if, not sure we'll be able to hang on to those two uh, dominations, but at least that's the uh, current state. The VPs from the space race are going to be really significant because the um, you know we were dealt all three of those early war scoring cards in round one. All right, so our opponent is getting ready for NORAD. We got to remember that. All right, so here's what we've got: we draw UN intervention, we get Truman, ComCon, blockade. We get EEU. Um, we redraw Europe, and we redraw Fidel. We, so we know our opponent has U.S. Japan, D. Stalin, special relationship and containment. So they got both of our early war D cards, D. Call and D. Stalin. All right, so I could play to Gaul, but we also have Europe scoring. So I'm totally expecting uh, the, the chances of us being able to dominate Europe is zero. So I think our ops are going to be better spent solidifying Asia and the Middle East. So we're just going to drop Europe for zero. The bonus is if he defects it, we really don't care. Uh, so right, let's headline Europe scoring. Okay, and he defectored it, so great. At least we know where defectors is. Okay, so the question is, do we coup if cooing gives him an extra op? Where would he play that? He'd probably play it in South Korea, perhaps. 
especially if he drew the war. Um, he could play an extra op into Afghanistan. I'm not too worried about that. I mean, Norad is annoying, but it's I feel like it's manageable. And we'll get two VPs. So I think for both of those reasons, um, we're going to coup. Now the question is, do we coup in... We're going to coup in Panama, I think. Although, wait a minute. Now that I think about it. We actually are plus two realigns in Iran. I think I'm going to try realigns here. Right now, EU hurts, so we're going to... Um, we're going to use this, and we're going to realign. We're going to realign here in Iran at plus two. All right, that was good. We could try realigning in either Panama or, let's see, what would Lebanon be? Probably nothing, I'm guessing. Oh, well, that's, that's intriguing. Oh, that's great, too. And we'll be at plus one here. Oh, nothing there. All right, so we're going to wait for our opponent to coup. That was some, uh, that was some interesting realigns. We could try that again with ComCon if they don't coup. Realign him out of Israel and maybe work on South Africa and Panama. Happy to do that. There's nothing else that's really pressing here. Okay, so he's going to coup with NATO, his biggest card probably. All right. So, let's see where he spends his NORAD op. I'm guessing maybe Burma or South Korea. Okay, so that evens things up. I think our play here is to... place one here and... One here and two there. We could also grab um, Lebanon with a point if we wanted to. Not sure that really matters. For all of that cooing in the early going, it's not that consequential. It is still possible for him to take Iran. So what we could also do is... Finish taking Iran so he can't get back in, and place one into South Korea. That would mean he'd have to play a four. We know he's got U.S.-Japan, so he may do that. So maybe the play is... Hmm... Let's see, we know he's got Special Relationship, Containment, D-Style, and U.S. Japan, so he's going to need to space at least one card. I think... Yeah, I think South Korea is that important. Of course, he can always grab Thailand. But since we know he's holding a 4-ups card, we don't want to lose it. This may be a situation where we actually salt for d -Stel, if we can get it in the mid-war. Because so far we've had no access cards. No había otro camino. Okay, so duck and cover. All right, so evening things up in Asia. Right now, Asia still gives us three. We know he's holding U.S.-Japan. If he drops that, we could play the China card into Japan. I really like that move, but um, right now we're going to uh, try to shut the door on the Middle East. Our opponent still hasn't played into Africa. We haven't been able to really take advantage of that. Uh, maybe the thing to do, actually, is place into the Middle East like this. Threatening Egypt. I think I have to play, I mean, even though 
I'm on the defense about Fidel. We're going to have to play all three of these cards. As much as I want some access, To, to one region, at least. Okay, so interesting. So he plays U.S. Japan. I don't think he's... Okay, so he plays there. All right. So he's played U.S. Japan. We know he's holding D-Style, Special Relationship, Containment, and one other card. So the question then becomes, one, do we take Japan? Let's see if doing that would... That's actually not enough to give us domination. It would give us two points in Asia, but that's probably not enough to lose the China card. Because the China card is still three points for us. He could also take Taiwan, and uh, that's a point. That would be another point, I suppose. I think our better bet would be to try to get um, decal or. Uh, some way, maybe uh, an ABM coup uh, to get us into Thailand. So let's let's hold the China card, which means we have to think about Fidel. All right. So what we could do here is we could all right. So if we get CIA. It's really not a big deal. We would just be giving up a... I think that's. I think this is going to be the play. We're going to play Fidel for the event. At least we get some access to Central America. Some access to the mid-war scoring region. Next, I think we'll play Truman. Maybe overprotect um, North Korea. Here comes containment. All right. Uh, let's see, Truman now gives us Lebanon. It doesn't really do much for us. No, I think we're better off maybe placing influence into North Korea. Now, I think maybe placing influence into... Yeah, sure. No, I think just taking Lebanon. This way they can't uh, fight us on country count. If we get something like Muslim Revolution, uh, we can take them out of both Egypt and Jordan. Lebanon's not susceptible to Muslim Rev. It makes it slightly less likely that he'll be able to uh, prevent... Okay, so he goes d style space. So this is really interesting. Oh my gosh, he gets headline peaking right away. Okay, we're going to event blockade. We know he's holding special relationship and one other card. see if this works. We know he's got one two-point card. Let's see what his other one is. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, but the... We're gonna lose... Oh, goodness, that was lucky. And he had CIA. All right, so that's fortunate. Okay, so the victory point track looks terrible, but... Suddenly, um, we have an opportunity uh, in Europe. So, we draw, ask not, we get VOA. Allende, our first access card, we get nuclear test ban. We get Shea, which is not helpful right now. 
We get Willie Brandt, Liberation Theology, Camp David, and Brezhnev Doctrine, which I think is going to be our headline. Okay. So, um, one interesting thing is here is going to be, I like, I think I just need to play into, I have to take West Germany. That means that they'll need to spend their first AR filling up France, and uh, that will still give us the coup. So what we're going to do is just really try to maximize our ops. <coughs> And Brezhnev is going to be our headline. So we will be ops rich. We are going to want to play liberation theology, but there's not a huge rush on that. We're also going to want to play Allende. Okay, so he gets rid of lone gunman. That's very nice. We also can coup in the headline, so we don't have to worry about NORAD. Uh, let's see, he's got Special Relationship, which we knew. He's also got OPEC, Cultural Revolution, Suez, Warsaw, South African Unrest, Warsaw, Arms Race, and Latin American Death Squads. Okay. And we're going to air one coup... Let's think about this. Panama is the most likely target. This is actually a two-point coup for us because of Brezhnev. Um, Egypt is less likely, but Mideast has not scored. On the other hand, well, we know he's not, he doesn't have Sadat, and we know nobody's got Muslim Rev, so it's kind of a 50-50. I like cooing Egypt. And we get it. All right, good. So we're going to place our four ops, like, four ops to take West Germany, like that. We are going to want to play into France if they give us a chance, because that will also give us access to Algeria. So after, we haven't really seen a scoring card since turn one, and we will get through uh, turn four. We'll have had three consecutive turns without a scoring card. That's interesting. Southeast Asia is a huge problem. Okay, so they give us cultural rev for uh, for one point. Okay. That's a point. We're going to go ahead and play Shea here. And, man, we can uh, really make some progress in the Middle East if we don't see Sadat. Uh, well, wait a minute. Maybe I want to leave, now that I think about this, we do have Camp David. Um, I think the play here is to uh, kind of concede Egypt. We'll go ahead and take Libya. So maybe what we can do is play a smaller card. We could do this. Right, because we're not going to want to uh, mess around if he gets one, two, three. Let's see, there's going to be a race on to get. Um, there's going to be a race on to get to Israel. Maybe we want to wait here. I think we're going to end up playing Ask Not. We're going to want to space VOA. We're obviously going to play Liberation Theology. Um, okay. I 
think that's the play. Israel's going to be pretty significant. Because in all likelihood, he'll grab Egypt and Saudi Arabia. All right, he's spacing OPEC. Now that's good in terms of ops. Let's see if we can get our space shot off now. Deprive him of a chance to get to space. All right, good. So he can only space one card, thankfully. All right, so he's going to have to decide between some of our pretty unpleasant cards. Okay, he's playing lads. Where's he going to go? Okay, so he takes Algeria. Makes sense. Okay, so we're going to play Liberation Theology. We're going to go two here and one into Panama. I think that's the play. All right, playing arms race. Okay. So, next up we can play Allende. Well, let's see, we have to play three of these cards. I think we're going to play JFK. I think we're going to hold on to Camp David. Why not? As long as uh, that's unseen by him we can uh, sort of discourage any play into Israel. So I think what we do is we play Allende now. We fill up Chile with uh, Shea. I think I'm also going to... Um, Maybe in our last action round, we're going to need to save some points for uh, we're going to need to save some points for South African unrest. Or okay, so he gives us Warsaw Pact. It would have been better if we had kept that. Oh, interesting. All right. So we're thinking about mill ops here. Um, Okay, we're going to add influence in here. Since we've already seen independent reds, we can actually move towards country count here. Yugoslavia gives us access to the two Mediterranean countries. And We have to think about John Paul, so we'll play there. All right, so we're going to use Shay, and so I'm tempted to coup. Um, I think we are going to coup because his coup, we could coup a special relationship, but his other two cards are really going to hurt him. So I think we do that. We coup here with Shay. There we go. I'm expecting him to coup back with special relationship. Mm -hmm. So he's going to get his mill ops. Let's hope he fails. He succeeds. Okay, so if we play Ask Not at this point, he can get rid of South African Unrest and Suez. I don't think Suez is that painful for him. Um, South African unrest is. So the question is, do we give him... Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that we're going to need to... I think if we coup with Camp David... Alright, so we get off a good coup. We force him to play one of his more difficult cards. We're still on Midi's Domination. Midi's for four. So let's see what he decides to do. Probably Event and Repair Suez is going to be my guess. And we'll take two out of France, and maybe two out of uh, Israel. I'm going to step away from the computer for some Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, uh, he decided to keep Suez, play South African Unrest, and give us a chance to walk into Angola. That's interesting. All right, so now we go to the next turn. Okay, um, we've got five-year plan, we've got the Middle East, we've got Nixon, lines for progress, kitchen debates, nuclear subs, Asia, and public governments. Okay. But the so a lot of things that we would like to get rid of. We could probably get rid of Asian scoring. Well, no, no, that's for three points for us. Um, and because of ABM, no scoring card is really safe. So I think our best play is to just play something terrible, something that doesn't do anything, like... Uh, you know, I really wish I didn't have to headline anything at all, but we'll just headline Kitchen Debates. There we go. This is a hand that's a lot like our very first hand. Low ops, lots of scoring cards. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing. Ah, uh, you land play the Southeast moon, Asia. Yikes. That's going to be a lot of points. All right. So, how many is that for him? Eight points for him. Yikes. All right. So, we definitely want to space puppet governments. We're probably going to play Alliance for Progress. I think that's going to be the play. Um, we're going to coup. Now, that gives him, cooing gives him both of these things. So I think what we need to do is play... That gives him another... Although that lets him coup Venezuela, doesn't it? Um, maybe we need to coup Angola. Okay. Norad point. I expect to see it in Egypt. Hopefully we can still drop Middle East. for domination. But the VP track is looking perilous. We're also behind on time. We're down to 28 minutes. Flower power, big four point card. Okay. 
I think I'm going to play like this. This. And this. Oh, well, wait a minute. One, two, three, four. I think that's the play. Since we're going to have to give up uh, the China card because of Nixon, we can't, um, we can't really afford to play puppet government, so I think that's going to be the one we get rid of. We could do five-year plan into nuclear subs. That's not terrible. I'm trying to think how I want to play Central America. Right now, that's three points for us. And that might be that might be what the doctor had in store for us there. I'm expecting to see another coup in Colombia. See how that plays out. Brush war on Italy would be pretty amazing. Right now, uh, we're 50-50 for an uh, Italy brush war. We also haven't seen a lot of his important mid-war cards, like grain sales and colonial rear guards. Bear trap. Or our cards, decal, we will bury you. Oh, good. JP2 goes for ops. All right. I see what he's doing there. Uh, let's see, if we let him take Nigeria, hmm, how do we want to play this? I think, let's think about this. We can coup Saharan states, but then he'll rely on us in Cuba. To put another point into here, I think what we do right now, yeah, yep, I think we're going to coup Nicaragua. Now that was a good coup. Puts him within spitting distance of a win, like a successful space race, and we're completely shaking in our boots. But the alternative was just to hand over the China card, and I don't, I don't see that being positive. The good news is that all of the unscored regions are points for us. So hopefully the uh, victory point counter will look a little better. Not a lot, but a little better. All right, so it looks like he's going to take, all right, huh, okay, so we'll play mid for Dom before we see Sadat or anything like that. Yeah, Africa is full, oh goodness, there goes Africa. Man. Here comes Asia. We were just like before, we had a bunch of sort of a, a run on scoring cards. All right, he's spacing Suez. That was the only card we knew he had. Oh, goodness. 15. This is getting pretty dire. 
Little space puppet governments. All right, that succeeds. We're still gonna have to show our headline. Having these three is interesting. So I either hold five-year plan, I mean... Okay, so we did get that off before Sadat. I guess I feel a little better about that. What did he do? Did he play Sadat for the event? Oh, he just placed influence with Sadat, okay. Uh, so what do we do for our last action round? I think in our last action round, we... Do we give him nuclear subs? I can't run the risk of losing South America. Although the fact that he didn't coup into it, all right, suggests that he probably doesn't have it. He could have Central America, he could have South America. It's probably not worth the risk. So... I think... I mean, I would like to get rid of five-year plan, but, um, right, I think we, I think what we do here is, we can coup Honduras, maybe? I think what we do is we use this to spam influence. Or, no, you know what? No, actually. Here's what we'll do. We'll play five-year plan. Nuclear subs went off anyway, that was lucky. We'll place... And... We aren't going to put a point in Argentina in case he wants to coup with it. Instead, we'll play a point like that. And let's see how that goes. So five-year plan is out, nuclear subs is out, lots of progress is out. Oh, things are looking bad. Okay, he coos with salt. That's okay. And he gets, he flips Mexico. Okay. So we've got Portuguese Empire crumbles, South American scoring, super important. How I learned... Bear Trap, Colonial Rear Guards, Panama Canal Returns, IP War, and Shuttle Diplomacy. Okay. So, one possibility here is we play How I Learned, lower DEFCON, grab Argentina AR1, and get South American Control. I think that's the play. So, um... Right. So how I learned. Well, it's tempting to coup into Panama. I don't know, maybe that is the play. Okay. So his event goes off first with grain sales. He gets colonial rear guards. He doesn't know we have South America, so I'm expecting he might play CRG. Interestingly, if he coups with it, we could always raise DEFCON with how I learned and still coup into Panama. Or Mexico? Probably Panama. We still haven't seen Missile Envy. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, he might be trying for realigns. I think I'm going to... I mean, what would I coup with? There's shuttle diplomacy. 
but that's going to mean a loss of points down the road. How likely would that be? 2, 4... Probably not likely enough. I think just leaving the DEFCON at 2. And... Placing like this. So that's a possibility. It's going to be terrible if he gets um, ABM, but can't really prevent it. Probably going to send Bear Trap to space. play all of these cards because of grain sales we don't get to hold a card so let's see what happens I'm expecting a coup on Columbia right here that's fine we'll give up two points for presence but we'll still get the big VP swing that we uh, really wanted really needed all game. My opponent is really impressively locked down Southeast Asia. He might also have, I was going to say, he might also have Junta, which we're seeing right now. Okay. This is still eight points. We could try some crazy realigns, um, and then prompt our opponent to coup into... Oh, let's see. How could we do this? We could place influence here and here. And maybe another point. Well, let's see, we don't need... We could play fewer points. Oh, that's still his way, isn't it? My goodness. One, two, three, four. I don't know if there's any way to stop domination. All right, we'll try for it. It's a two-point swing, but I think it's worth doing. Two points there, and uh, let's see. This is even. I have to get lucky here. No, we did not get lucky. All right, a huge coup probably on Colombia. Nope, on Nicaragua. So right now that's five, and this is ten. All right, we're going to take our 10. For as long as it lasts us, probably all of 30 seconds. Wow, another great hand for our opponent in terms of ops. I mean, yeah, pretty amazing. Grain sales, Marshall Plan, Red Scare Purge. Um, okay, I think we just need to coup back in for presence. So what do we give them? Uh, I mean, is it worth giving up? We're going to have to... Oh, interesting. We could bear trap ourselves. Because we only get to space one of these. All right, I think that's worth it. We'll coup Haiti. All right. So there goes Bear Trap. The deck is stacked for us. We have two chances to get out of the trap. All right. 
right there, Central America. Seven points for him. Um, we'll put Shuttle into the trap. All right. Take out the first try. But now things are looking pretty terrible. There's 14 points in the draw deck, so... We won't see any scoring cards round 7. Okay. We will... S well, you know what? I'm going to make it to space this turn. Question is, do you want to give them Ask Not? They'll have two cards. There really aren't many cards that could uh, hurt them too badly. Okay, so now they're playing into Greece. Um, sure, let's give them Ask Not. Better to get it out of the deck rather than having them play it later. Oh, he didn't even use it. Well, that's nice. I mean, I guess that's a mixed blessing. We could... go like that. Put us on... Um... Right, put us on Asian domination. Or we could play three into Israel. I think that's going to be the play. Man, a new Surrey for the event. Okay. We get ABM, Quagmire, We Will Bury You, US Japan, Cambridge Five, which we know doesn't work, Brush War, We Will Bury You. Oh, and we did get a reshuffle. We get Decal. Interesting. Okay. Quagmire here. I think we headline Quagmire. Get rid of Norad. Okay. And we get VOA. Alright, so we know they're holding. Oh my goodness. Is that the game? That may be close to the game. That's 19. Yikes. Oh. Oh my, this is probably the end for us. Um, we could grab three points. Um, hmm, let me think about that. Okay. We'll grab three points. With We Will Bury Him. All right, they don't get out with Korean War. Um, I think we'll play... Um, hmm. All right, so Africa is a problem. 
but we also could, here's another possibility, we, we know they're holding Muslim Revolution and Marshall Plan, so we could start jamming into Europe. Finish taking that with, or, you know what, let me think about this. We could use U.S. Japan to fix that. That goal will be achieved. Okay. So I think the pl we could jam into France with four, and then... Hmm. Many options here. I like this option. Let's think here. All right, so one question is where do we use brush warp? And I think the play could be place into France. Then we could fill up France. If he puts Muslim Rev in the... Okay, he does. Now I think if we Missile Envy, we get Marshall Plan for Ops, which gives us France. And that puts us on a 50-50 for Europe control if we don't lose first, which is totally possible. Oh, wait a minute, I must have had my cards wrong. Let's think. And then we can fill up France with ABM, and then we brush war Italy. I think that's the play. It's kind of strange. It's pretty unlikely to work, but we have a possibility now. A chance at winning. We have one out. All right, so now we play ABM. He's probably going to fill up Spain and Portugal. Maybe we should have taken that. That might have been smart. The Reformer also gives us Italy. But yeah, trying to play for Europe control is, is pretty unlikely. Especially where John Paul could have come back into the reshuffle. Arab Israeli war, not a factor. Yeah, so he knows we've got brush war. So we may not use it. I think it's so unlikely at this point that there's really no point. Um, let's see where we're at for Milops. Okay, so now we play. We're going to play brush war someplace else for our Milops. Um, I think we'll play. We'll 
fix India with Cambridge 5, and where do we use Milops? 50-50 on Algeria doesn't look bad. We just need the points. Um, maybe Egypt. Actually, if nothing else happens, we'll play Egypt for Milops. Even though we haven't seen Sadat, there aren't many excellent targets. Mexico's 50-50, but I think we can do better than that. All right, he plays one small step. Um, well, right now, actually, Panama is a two-thirds chance. So let's, even though that's scored, I don't know, maybe, maybe you're playing to a region that hasn't scored yet. Maybe we play Algeria. Sure. All right, we get it. We get some VPs. All right, summit. And we're going to space VOA. All right, no more headline peaking. All right, so what do we need to come up? Uh, reformer. Reformer is what we need. Uh-oh, this is bad. Although it's good that we get to um, see which cards come out before the late war cards are added to the deck, so that's a possibility. Let's see what he decides to get rid of. Okay, so just purge. And with the mid-war cards added, or the late war cards added to the deck, uh, we get duck and cover. Latin American debt crisis, grain sales, containment. CIA, oh no, CIA, Chernobyl, war games, and Iran-Iraq war. Okay. World so we have three cards that will cost us the game. To the we can space one of them. We can hold one of them. So the question is, what's going to be least likely to cost us the game? I think we have to headline grain sales, which is really bizarre, and we could lose right now. But, um, let's see what happens. Well, wait a minute. We could, we know we can space grain sales. No, we can't space grain sales. So let's play that, hoping to draw a duck and cover. Or uh, CIA, even better. Let's headline them. Okay, so good. They play special relationship. So we haven't lost yet. Grain sales pulls decal. All right, and now we get points again. Let's go there, there. It's our first time we get to use decal. Three, four. Or maybe, actually, let's use it, like, one, two. Three, four. The good thing about having such a terrible uh, place here is we can overprotect. Um, well, let's think about that. If I play one, two, three, four. I like this. He can realign us in Nigeria. Or he can flip Thailand, but he can't do both. So I feel okay about that. Although I think we've lost the game. So, yep, 
Yeah. Three DEFCON cards in a row means we lose. That's unfortunate. Our second time losing in this uh, RTSL League to DEFCON. So that's not great. It really had us the entire game. We needed grain sales to draw CIA, which it didn't happen. Um, we can uh, play on here. But uh, this was kind of a lost cause for a while. So let's chalk this up to excellent play by our opponent. Congratulations. Uh, looks like Coriel is going to remain undefeated in the Carter division. And we dropped a 3-3, three and three, so we are now uh, at 500. Not where we want to be. Um, I think we might as well play this out just to see what happens. Our opponent doesn't know that we have already lost, but uh, maybe they can suspect, since we headlined grain sales, maybe they know we've got a losing hand here. You know, even if we didn't draw this terrible hand, we may have lost on time anyway, because our, uh, our clock is pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. We'd be racing down to the last second, probably. Okay, might as well space this. Oh, we even, uh, even things up on the space race. I guess that's something. I guess our only chance is if our opponent uh, were, were to play nuclear subs. <laughs> that's literally, I think, the only card that could save us right now. Hmm. Yeah, and it's not even like we had CIA earlier, like in the early war. Our opponent drew that and played it. We were just unlucky enough to draw um, duck and cover, grain sales, and CIA all in one hand. And that's what happens sometimes. We get the China card one round too late. Uh, let's see, I guess we might as well get our mill ops for what it's worth. I don't know. There's probably no real reason to play one way or the other. Imagine our opponent will play, um, will call off Europe. I think that's always, I've never used Chernobyl, uh, you know, unless I'm about to play a scoring card. I've never really used Chernobyl for any place except for Europe. We'll see what they say. Uh, I'm just curious where they chose. Uh, they chose... I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see. We can... Oh, they chose the Middle East. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Maybe they've got that scoring card. Um, I guess we could... Um, you know what? We will uh, we'll coup here just for the heck of it. Coup Nicaragua.
And our opponent might be thinking that they can uh, flip Libya. That would give them... Yep. Back that gives them Dom. Because it does such violence to the spirit. And now we say, uh, congrats. Let's wait for them to make the final coup. Yep. Yep. Well, thanks for watching. I wish it were a, uh, a closer game, but, um, hopefully we'll have better luck next time around.